In this first video of Excel shortcuts for financial modeling, we will be learning about how to use the control keys, the shift keys, and the alt keys. And in addition to that, we'll be learning about how to select cells. First of all, when you're using the control key, we always have to keep in mind that we want to use, we want to press the buttons at the same time. For example, as you all probably already know, um, if we want to, you know, copy these data sets to the right, we want to press Control C, Control V, and you want to press it at the same time, as you all know, right? So, con the Control key you you always press it simultaneously with other shortcuts. Um, on the other hand, the Alt key is slightly different, as you want to press these buttons one by one. For example, if you want to, you know, align these five data sets to the left, we're going to press Alt H A L and we want to press it one by one. Alt H A L. One of the tips when we're using the Alt keys, and even if you do not memorize, have not memorized the uh, shortcuts, if, as, as soon as you press the Alt key, it automatically shows, you know, signs up here that uh, where you can utilize to navigate to your uh, desired function. So for example, if you press Alt, and then we want to go to the Home key, so you press H, and then Align Left is designated the shortcut AL, so you want to press on AL, and that's going to do the trick. The Shift key is used to select a range of data sets. So for example, if you if you press on the shift keys and then if you press the arrow keys at the same time, it's gonna, you know, select a range of data sets. Another function of the control key is that when you're moving, you know, up and down the work uh, Excel spreadsheet, the control key enables you to jump to the next set of data sets. So this may not be important if, you know, the Excel spreadsheet is very uh, small, uh, but, you know, if the Excel spreadsheet is like 86 rows, like you can see right here, uh, when you're moving up and down the Excel spreadsheet, if, if you don't use the control key, it's going to take some time to move up and down, right? Uh, but on the other hand, if you utilize the control key and then use your arrow keys, um, you can jump up and down the Excel spreadsheet, which, you know, would make your work much more efficient. And then, if you utilize the Control key and the Shift key at the same time, you can select a range of datasets much more quicker. So, as opposed to, you know, using just the Shift keys and selecting these datasets, if you use Control shift you, again, you're going to be pressing it simultaneously, Control shift and then the arrow key to the down, and the arrow key to the right. So it's going to be uh, a much more quicker way to select data sets. Another method of selecting data is by utilizing the Shift and the Space keys to select uh, the entire row. The key here is to uh, just simply press shift space at the same time and it would automatically, you know, uh, select the whole entire rows. And this is especially important in financial modeling because we will be formatting. Uh, most of the formatting would be, you know, related to selecting the entire row rather than selecting the entire um, column. So shift space and then Control space would do the opposite trick. So it would select the entire column from, you know, column one to column uh, infinity. And if we combine these two functions together, shift space and then control space, what it will do is it's going to select the entire spreadsheet, which is the same when you're using you know, um, the control A function. So again, control, you have to press it simultaneously. Control A, it's going to select the entire spreadsheet at the same time.
And lastly, always keep in mind that you want to use your uh, pinky or, or your little finger to press control keys, um, which I've observed, ob observed in, in many of my offline classes. Um, some of the students use their you know, ring finger or their uh, middle finger to press the control keys. Um, you know, maybe some of you might find it very uncomfortable to use, you know, pressing the control key using your uh, little finger. But, you know, look in the long term and, you know, you have to use your uh, little finger to uh, really make your financial modeling much more effective in the long term. So please press the control key using your little finger and then the shift keys should be pressed using your ring finger or the fourth finger. So the things that we just learned using, you know, utilizing the control shift and alt keys and then how to select data and how to select, you know, much more efficiently. Um, these kind of skill sets might not seem so important at this point, but um, it's going to, you know, become the fundamentals of what we're going to learn for the next 30, 40 hours doing financial modeling and um, also building uh, pitch books on PowerPoint.